these chairs are high up. <laughs> I like these chairs. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, as you as you just heard, we are uh, in the New York Broadway cast of Jervin Hansen. My name is Alex Boniello, and I play Connor Murphy. I'm Mallory Bechtel, and I play Zoe. I'm Phoenix Best, and I play Alana. Yeah, we were we were uh, you know as we were introed, we heard we're talking about uh, how social media kind of plays into into the show and our lives. I think. Um, you know, for those of you who don't know him without giving much away, the show is about a young man who struggles with many, um, many different forms of anxiety, social anxiety disorder, and he kind of gets caught up in a web of lies and eventually sort of becomes a social media sensation or like a viral sensation overnight. Um, so social media plays kind of a, a huge role in the show. I think, um, you know, for people like Evan who struggle with, with sh social anxiety, you know, they kind of feel like, they're, they haven't really found their place, and they're looking at all of these people on the internet seemingly having the best lives ever while he's sitting at home, you know, doesn't have any friends, and he's wondering kind of where his place is. I mean, can I, either of you speak to that? Yeah, I mean, in our show in general, like he, like you said, he goes viral, he kind of blows up, and then he, he somewhat finds his confidence in using social media in a way, but I think part of social media as well, you know, when it does all fall apart at some point in the show as well, it kind of does that in our day-to-day -day lives. It's like we can be connected, but also not connected at the same time. Um, social media has this big, big presence in our lives now, and that's why we're seeing it in Broadway shows and things like that, and how we connect to other people, but also how we, while connecting, we can still feel alone in a way. Right, and you know, social media, a, a lot of times we like to say it's kind of the, there are eight characters in our show, it's sort of the ninth character in the show because this story kind of couldn't happen without, without social media playing into it. I mean, the, the, uh, Kickstarter gets involved in, in the show and, and Evan's, Evan's rise to fame truly could only happen that way. And again, I, I really do think that social media with all of, its, all of the great things that it can do f in our lives, um, you know, I think that I think that a lot of it, a lot of the things that happened to Evan and, and his specific anxieties, I really do think come from a world in which we are so connected and we get and we get kind of stuck in that. I mean, Mallory, do you have any? Right. You were just kind of saying it how such a cliche thought we're all connected, but we're not. I remember my like a week into rehearsal we were talking about social media and you said something about how people are able to cultivate Remember that? That was the word you used. You cultivate the certain personality. And it's it's so, it's I think it's become such an integral part of young people's lives with social media. They feel this responsibility to um, make it appear as though they're having a good time. And that kind of, it's threading into when you're actually having a good time, especially this new feature with stories. And you know, it's like when you're having a good time, it's people feel this need to share it with the rest of the world. And that kind of takes away from the real experience of that. And um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're right. Um, I, f I feel like a lot of the times like people say, no one's life is ever as exciting as it looks on social media. I definitely don't feel like mine is, is exciting. People are always are like, oh, it looks like you're doing all these cool things. I'm like, yeah, but you know, then sometimes I go home and I go alone and I'm sitting there watching TV by myself. And so it may look cool, but it's not always what it appears to be, I think, I, if that's what you were saying. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, it it's, <laughs> It, it, I also I also liked how uh, how you know we're talking we're talking about uh, the cultivation of like the self and the, and the person and I think I think it's really important for all young people especially um, to really like look and be like all right like I I spent the week talking about how how cool my week was but like I didn't spend any time talking about how bad a lot of the parts of my week were and no you don't need to like you don't need to hop on like. Twitter and be like a downer and stuff because 90% of the people really just want to see you retweet a meme or something. But like, but I think there's incredible value in in coming forward and, and talking about um, talking about the real stuff on social media because this is it's also new and like you know it feels like it's been part of our lives for for f you know not to quote the show but for forever. But you know I'm seeing I'm seeing faces out in out in this audience that I'm speaking to right now who. I'm assuming some of you like don't even remember 
a world where Twitter or Instagram like wasn't just like built into your your DNA and stuff. And it's 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 just a, it's a fascinating thing. And I think I think as it's developing and growing, I think there's a, a real importance on learning how to own it and how to use it for you know use it for the spreading of information and the spreading of news and and also like yeah like fun stuff because you know again you don't want to be a bummer but like i i've i've personally used the small platform that i have from my acting stuff to talk about my anxiety disorder on it and i've found that in even just giving a little bit of that and saying like yeah this is something i deal with the amount of help that it gives so many people out there who are like yeah like i saw you know the show you were in and i i feel this way and I, you know, because you said something and I saw you do that, I was able to talk to my parents who saw the show with me about it. And I think that the more we can kind of empower young people to just be just be real on these platforms, again, while still having fun uh, and, and taking it seriously, I think that, I just think there's incredible value in, in owning your, your stuff. Yeah, it's a fine balance, like I, I, I try to, I, I have, I didn't have Instagram for a while. I always had the account and then I deleted it, I think my um, senior year. And then when I came and joined the show, I, I got it back. And it, I mean, what, like what you're saying, you know, you want to try to be your most authentic self and it, it's kind of, it's a very hard thing to navigate. I wouldn't know, that's the other thing. That's how I, you said like for news, and stuff, I would know nothing if I didn't have my Facebook <laughs> and Instagram. That's like, and that it's funny that that's kind of what it's become, but that's where you go um, to learn about what's going on. So it's it's kind of a tricky thing, and I, I think you kind of have to know yourself a little bit. I, like, I have, I've been able to, I've noticed that I very, it's kind of turned into this, instinctual thing which I I personally don't like that I I'll open my phone and like I'm don't even think about it and my thumb goes whoop whoop boom and I'm all of a sudden on Instagram when that totally was not my intention and like I wanted to check the time and then all of a sudden I'm on Instagram and like very it's a very thoughtless process and so for me my sister there's this new feature on a new phone where you can like set the amount of time that you're on Instagram. I love how I love how this says a lot <laughs> about Mallory that she's like a new feature on a new phone. This has been around forever, but go on. I don't, I don't know. Wait, I not know. not on my phone, but I, I it's uh, she can like set okay, I'll only be on there for ten minutes. So it's kind of it's personal thing, like what how much time you want to spend on there and. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's kind of funny because yesterday, I think it was like during the show while. I wasn't on stage and like I went to Sky's dressing room and Sky and I were sitting in his dressing room and I was like, oh, I want to come hang out with you. And then we were both on our phones, scrolling through Instagram, not talking to each other, not looking at each other. And our hair supervisor, Daniel, walked by and he was like, wow, you guys are spending some really great quality time together. And I was like, oh, he just liked my photo. And I, he was like, that's not quality time and I was like you know what you're right and like I, I put my phone down and Sky put his phone down and like we actually had a great conversation after that but it's you're right it's so mindless I was like yeah let's hang out together but <laughs> separate but we're still connected because you liked my photo but we're not actually talking even though we're in the same room and it's just crazy to me how like that that's just what life is these days and I feel like it's really important to accept social media for the great great things that it can do in the platform that it builds and um, the ways we can bring each other up through social media and not just put each other down to make ourselves feel better better or to actually be connected sometimes it's like look at this cool thing I'm doing rather than being like look at this cool thing that's in front of me I feel like that is really important and it, it doesn't mean that we can't use social media. I love social media. I love to take a pic for Instagram, tweet something I see, tweet at Alex and tell him that I hate him, but actually love him. Um, but at the same time, enjoying what is in front of us and not just like having to show everyone. Yeah, and I, I think a crucial thing about that too is um, remembering to uh, to keep the to keep your, <laughs> it's gonna sound kind of like dramatic, but like keep your humanity about you. Because I think 
one of the things that that uh, sort of plays into what she was saying with you know our friend Sky in the dressing room with her, we there's this weird thing that happens where because we are so mindless about it, we forget that there's a person on the other side of it, and it's something it's so obvious, and we know this, and we can say it a thousand times, but like you really do forget what's going on there, and and like yes. You know, uh, being in a show that's as high profile as ours, like I was saying to them backstage, like I, I honestly can't open Twitter without seeing a mean thing said about me every day. And there's this fascinating thing where like you could read a hundred nice things about you. You read the one thing, you forget all the nice things, you get all fired up and you're like, I'm going to like answer them. And then you don't because they're not looking at you as a person. They're looking at you as this thing that's far away that's in a show that they like right and and so that i think it's really important that we all remember that um every single person who is on the internet with us is a person and like there's so much that plays into that and there's so much that we still don't know about the the developing brain and how and how this stuff this stuff affects us in the long term and and so i think it's it's just incredibly important that we remember this kind of stuff and remember that like if someone's being a jerk on the internet, like, you know, we've all heard of trolls and people who just have accounts that, yeah, I've seen, I've literally seen accounts that just exist to only say mean stuff about people. And I think for every moment that I look at those accounts and I, you want to respond and, and like tell this person that they have a lame, sad life, you say, wait a minute, like, what's going on with that person to you know i really don't believe that there are that many actually bad people out there so you really got to say what's going on with this with this person that's making them act this way and if you can you know maybe maybe don't engage that's still probably for the best don't engage but if you can take a step back and say like i'm not going to engage because i, I feel like this person is probably going through something that I don't know anything about. It's the same thing where, where they say like, you know, 90% of the time the bully is actually somebody who's struggling with their own things very deep down. And I think a lot of that comes into play. And, and I, I really think um, remembering the humanity of, of, of all of this is really gonna help us going forward. Yeah, and I think it's really important in moments like that too. You know, if somebody does say something bad about you on the internet, I feel like the thing to focus on more is just like lifting yourself up, saying yes to yourself, even if somebody else might say no or that you're not good enough or you're not this or you're not that, those trolls and whatnot. Um, knowing it deep down in yourself that you are enough, you are great, you are, there's no one out there like you. Like I say this all the time, like, I mean, I don't think there's anybody out there who else's name might be Phoenix Best, I'm not sure, but I'm like, there's- Somebody just screamed somewhere in the world who's watching this, they're <laughs> like, that, that, wait. Unless there is, then <laughs> hi, I've never met him, but there's only one of me. And I, I can't search for who I am in others because they're not going to tell me. I have to find that within myself. But I know for a fact that there is not one other Phoenix Best who is me. And that means I have something to give. I have something to show the world. I have something to show myself. And that is an important thing to know about yourself to move forward in situations like that. And, and even, if, even if you don't know that yet, there will come a time in which you, you know that. And... and I think everybody's on their own timer for something like that, but everything that she said is completely true. I was just gonna say, and that's where social media is a good thing. I feel like that's a really, um, thank God, like a very common, um, fad is not the word. That, that's something you see a lot on, um, on the internet, like individualism is kind of, it's, it's taking over and, um, self-love is is it's very relevant right now especially and it's that's what our show is about especially with like mounting um, depression and anxiety like in this in this country um, that is such an important thing to like just know that you're enough and and I think and I think there's a that's there's a very nice community of people on the internet who are who are trying to spread that message like you were saying earlier. Yeah, and Phoenix being one of them. I'm I'm telling you, if you ever need to see somebody really like be like, I'm feeling myself today, that's and the world is gonna know it. And I, it's something I genuinely love about Phoenix because she can do it, 
and own it. And she's like smiling and 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 because I'm complimenting her, but it's very very true. I feel and uncomfortable. I, of course, <laughs> but because but but I I really think it's I think it's a a massively important part about all of this is is with all the all of the bad that comes with it, there is good, there can be good, and we're still. I think it's okay to acknowledge that we're all as a <laughs> like a, the whole society still figuring out how to how to use this stuff for hopefully for good and not for evil 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 yeah. and i think it's also important like if you are having a bad day acknowledge it i'm at the point you know where i've been through so much in my life and i'll go through a day and some people be like how are you and i'm like it's not a good day and sometimes people are like they don't know how to deal with that but it's like no i'm just letting you know i'm not having a good day and that's okay and maybe tomorrow will be better but I'm just letting you know today's not the best day. And then we can, you know, keep moving forward. Yeah, and, you know, with that, as we wind down, it's it's to bring it all back to our show, you know, one of the first things the title character, Evan Hansen, says is, like, today's going to be a good day, and here's why. And at the beginning of the show, you know, maybe he doesn't know, but eventually he kind of finds out because you're you and that's enough. And I think that that's something that we can all relate to, even if, even if it... Maybe it seems cheesy sometimes, but I think it's I think it's very true. And with that, we have we've got to go do two shows today. So thank you thanks, guys. guys. Thank thanks you. for having us. Thank you.